If the BP board feels under pressure, you wouldn't guess it from the three men at the top. In a brief photo call at BP headquarters, outgoing Chief Executive Tony Hayward wore a determined smile but refused to respond to questions. Instead, his successor Bob Dudley has been talking up the company's future. Well, there's no question we're going to learn a lot from this accident in the Gulf Coast. It's going to be about equipment, people, different companies. And as a result of that, we're going to learn a lot about BP and the industry. And I'm sure there will be changes. It's been an extraordinary three months for the company. And the quarterly figures reflect that. Cleaning up the Gulf of Mexico is going to cost it dearly. And for the first time, BP has put a price on that cost. $32 billion earmarked for the cleanup and restitution measures. The impact on the second quarter financial results, an enormous $17 billion loss. And in response, a sell-off of $30 billion of assets over the next 18 months. If you look at the medical claims that history tells us comes out of these sort of things, such as Exxon Valdez, etc., the lawyers are very experienced in this now. And I think BP have underestimated things like the medical claims that could go on for an awful long time yet. It will be an orderly transition. BP Chief Executive Mr. Hayward will step down from October the 1st. Mr. Hayward will leave with the equivalent of a year's salary, $1.6 million. He'll also take with him a pension of $900,000 a year. It may be controversial, but BP insists it was contractually obliged to pay that amount. But Hayward will not be cast into the wilderness. He'll be given a non-executive director position on BP's Russia joint venture, TNKBP. He's been sent to Siberia, so to speak. That used to be a punishment in Soviet Russia. He's now been sent to be a, a part-time uh, non-executive director at TNKBP. And the chairman this morning was very careful not to reveal what he was being paid to do that. A lot rests on Mr. Dudley's shoulders. The company's responsibilities to the Louisiana coastal communities will take many years to fulfill. BP must prove it doesn't stand for broken promises. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, BP Headquarters, London.